that's not cool. That's ripping off their brand, right? Especially if I'm trying to use their same style and stuff. But when I say like the market is hot, buy this shirt, you know, or your favorite real estate guy, um, you know, and who knows, maybe real estate guy is trademarked too, right? But I don't think, I don't think Amazon's going to reject that. Again, don't take my word for it. I'm not guaranteeing that, but I've, I've had them approved with words like this um, because I just thought it was silly. So I submitted it anyway. But once in a while, I'll come up with something that does seem legit, like, uh, you know, Funkle. That was a big one a while back. Everybody and their mother was making a Funkle shirt, and then somebody trademarked it. So I'd stay away from that because it's not a normal word, right? The other examples that I thought of to tell you are perfect because I think I said perfect gift for whoever. Um, but somebody, I guess, probably has a, a clothing line called Perfect. Um, or who knows exactly how they use it. But the other one was vibes. So if you say like colorful, happy vibes shirt for summer, you know, technically there is a trademark word in there, but um, I've submitted plenty of designs with that word and I haven't had a problem. So I'm curious, where's the line? It seems to me like there's sort of this gray area of words that are trademarked, but they're also commonly used. And I'm not using it in a way to try to get traffic from people searching for the brand called Vibes. I'm not trying to do that. Um, I even had one example of a word that's just a, a very for real word that's been around for a long, long time. And I actually got a review where a guy said, hey, this isn't actually that brand. And I didn't even know it was a brand, um, but that word was in either my title or my brand. I can't remember which, um, but it, was, it wasn't just that word and it, it was, in a way that made sense, like in a sentence or in a description. And that shirt um, was not removed by Amazon, and I've had several designs approved with that word in there. So, you know, let me know. This is really just a discussion. I'm not trying to be the expert here. I'm just letting you know what I've been up to. And uh, I'm curious what, you know, how safe do you guys play it? And, you know, when have you gotten burned? What did you change? What did you learn? What tools are you using? Do you have a better trademark checker than what I'm using? Um, okay, and on to pricing, the second part of this video. Everybody seems to have their own kind of strategy and opinion about pricing. A lot of people, you hear that they just put everything at $19.99. That seems to be getting less common. And the other thing, and this is what I've been doing, is in the beginning they put it up at a lower price, like as low as they can maybe, like $12.88 I think, or you know, I do like $12.99. Um, and then once it makes a sale, you raise it up to what you think the market type price is, or some people even bump it up like a couple dollars at a time or a dollar at a time. I was doing like $12.99, and then when I made my first sale, straight to $19.99. But what I want to tell you guys is I've got some, I just made a sale today on a standard shirt at $26.99, and my phone is telling me my storage is low, so I'll try to spit this out quick. But I made 10, I think it was 1060 something on that sale, 1067 maybe. So again, it's $26.99 for a standard shirt. I've sold premiums, and I think I made a sale on a long sleeve, but I know I've sold a premium for $29.99. And um, so I'm only doing this on my shirts where there's very little competition, or if there is competition, mine is clearly better, nicer design. So it seems to be working, and you know, the way I look at this, at $26.99, I'm making about twice as much, almost exactly twice as much as I do when I sell it for $19.99. <clears throat> so even if I lose 40% of my sales, I'm still making more money, right, in my pocket, more royalties. And there's another little benefit is that these shirts, these are in kind of small niches anyway, but they're less likely to show up on the radar of all the copycats that just want to look for hot shirts and make, you know, 10 crappy designs in the niche or try to take my design and you know copy it and add stuff to it or whatever. So um, I feel like it's a little less risk for that and I'm making more per sale. And again, we don't have good analytics for, with Amazon, you know, and we probably never will, <laughs> that's my guess. But um, my gut is telling me I'm making as much or more in royalties at these higher prices. And I think it's more. But you know, I've only got a few at this high price because only a few are, are selling well and in a niche without a ton of competition and where I feel like mine is the nicest one even if there is competition. So what are you guys doing? You know, I bumped it up at first. I went from $19.99, I tried $21.99, $22.99, then I went to $24.99 and I kept making sales on these particular designs. So I'm like, you know what, let's try $26.99. And I don't know where I'll stop, you know. Um, I might try $29.99. My gut tells me that might be kind of like 
about as high as I'd go. But who knows? So what's working for you guys? And if you've got a hot seller and there's nothing like it, you know, try it maybe. Even if it's just for a week or two, see what happens, you know. You can always switch it back. Hopefully, uh, you know, I know some people are concerned about killing their, their selling ranking, their BSR. Um, but I don't know. Get a pair. Just give it a shot. Have some fun, right? Uh, one of my favorite quotes, maybe my favorite quote, is Ralph Emerson. And it's, all of life is an experiment. The more experiments you make, the better. So, you know, have a little fun. So anyway, I hope this is valuable. I always forget to say subscribe. So if you find these things useful, please do subscribe. And please comment. Um, I want this to be a discussion. I'm really curious what you guys are doing. So thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later.